Yo, what's up, guys? It's a uh, state to quiet. Also, Shane. Also, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. Um, I'm making this video because I feel like it needs to be addressed, and um, I'm making this video because I actually care. Um, and I'm making this video because I'm very deeply, sincerely sorry for the actions that I have portrayed onto um, my best friend, someone who was my best friend. Uh, someone who I cared about and was there for me in times where I needed them the most. Someone who I created so many memories with. Someone who I, I met over the internet that lived in the same state as me. Who has always been a very calm, relaxing guy. I'm talking about my boy Jay or Valente. Valente talks saints. I'm talking about you, man. Listen. I know you said that you are never going to let me back into your life, and I understand that, but this is my final chance of potentially letting that happen. I gotta let you know what I did was wrong, and I know it was wrong, and I tell you that, and I know you still put up that barrier because you know that I... always do the same things over and over again. I know what I did to you was uncalled for based on what happened to you prior. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to publicly display it on the internet for everyone to know about your personal life and what happened to you at your house. I want you to know I'm sorry, okay? I want you to know that I mean it whenever I say that I am sorry. I want you to know I love you. You're like a brother to me. You will always be like a brother to me. And instead of saying I'm sorry, I'm going to give you the reason I'm sorry. What I did shouldn't have been done to somebody I care about. I was in a point in my life where if you look at my channel, I explain how my life almost came to an end. And during that time, I called you from a fake number and I said those things to you. And I shouldn't have said those things to you and I shouldn't have pulled a prank that was completely uncalled for, that wasn't even a prank, that was beyond something a friend should ever do to somebody. I want you to know that no matter what in this world, no matter how much you hate me or no matter how much I hate you, I will always support you, have your back, and defend you whenever it comes to it because you have been one of the bestest friends I've ever met in the entire world. And I want you to know that Everything is my fault. I also want to tell Dylan, if Dylan is watching this video, by chance, Dylan, I was drunk, I was angry, and I was out of control. That does not give me the reason to threaten you, to say I'm going to harm you, or say I am going to do something to you. Because over a online game, 2020, drunk me, saying these things, not knowing the consequences of my actions, making you feel threatened, you obviously being mad, you have every single right to be, I am completely in the wrong, I've always been in the wrong when it comes to these situations. Whether it's with Valente, whether if it's if it's with you, Dylan, if it's with Cass, if it's with Coda, if it's with Rain, if it's with Taylor, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you right now, from the bottom of my heart, I wish that I could take back that day. And I wish that I could have removed that from my life. I am not proud of what I did. I I am not proud of the man that I have become. I am not proud.
of the person that I was when I said those things to you. I am not proud of the way that I threatened you. I am not proud of the way that I manipulated you, basically. I want you to know, man, I'm sorry. And I mean that. And I don't know if you're ever going to forgive me. And if you don't, I completely understand. It's a, it's, a, it's a terrible situation, you know. It's a situation I wouldn't even forgive somebody for. I understand completely. But I want you to know I apologize. Back to you, Valente. Valente, I know you are holding not necessarily a grudge but a hard barrier towards me and I completely understand that but I want you to know you mean a lot to me you are such a great individual you are such a great friend you are such a great person and you made my life better when I didn't have nothing in the world when I broke up with millions of girls when girls broke up when millions of girls broke up with me who was there? you and how did I treat you? what did I do after everything that you've done to me? I basically slapped you inside of your face so Valente, I want you to know I, I apologize. I'm deeply, dearly sorry. And I know you probably aren't going to forgive me. And I know you probably aren't going to let me back into your life. But if you would, just give me one more chance. And I know you've given me chance after 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 chance. After chance. But I'm telling you right now. If you give me one more chance to be back in your life, I'm not going to mess it up. I changed. I, I, I've done better. I'm on medications. I'm not afraid to say that I'm on medications. And they, and they actually work. I'm not afraid to say that I am in the wrong. I'm not afraid to say that what I did was foolish. What I did was self-centered. What I did was terrible. And I understand your frustration. I understand that completely. I, w I would be upset too. I want to be back in your life not only because of content, because of wrestling, because of our similar, our similar hobbies. Not even because... 2K24 is cross-plat, and we could possibly play together. That's not even the reason. The reason is because I miss my best friend. And I might have not been your best friend, but you were mine. You were the only person I talked to on PlayStation besides Mets fan. You and your friend group were the only people I had at the time. V... No homo, but you mean the world to me, bro. Real talk, if something happened to you today, or something happened to you in that hospital, I would be devastated. Something happened to you, and you were no longer here, I would go to Louisville and I would go to your funeral. I would go to your gravesite. I would, I would tell the world about you. I would cry about you. Somebody did something to you, I would do something. I would defend you. No matter what. I want you to know that. I want you to know. I love you. I respect you. I admire you. I applaud you for your success. Not only YouTube. But in life. I applaud you for everything that you do. I want you to know that. <clears throat> Valente. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry to Coda. I'm sorry to Valente. I'm sorry to Cass. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to Rain. I'm sorry to everybody. Cause I'm in the wrong, and I know I'm in the wrong now. At the time, with anger and frustration, and and self-centeredness, I, I I didn't realize I was wrong. I didn't realize what I was doing was wrong. I didn't realize that I was in the wrong. I was only focused on myself, and I was only focused on what made me happy and what made me a terrible person, a monster. My last message goes out to Cass. Cass, we've been talking a little bit. But we haven't been talking a lot because you still kind of have that anger towards me. And I understand that. What I did to your friends was wrong. And what I did to you whenever I was younger was wrong. What I did shouldn't have been done. Cass, you are one of the most creative, awesome, wonderful people I've ever met. You have a smart mind when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to sports, when it comes to anything. You always have a creative idea. You always come up with more and more ideas. And you are honestly one of the most talented people I know. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, bro. You... You made me... You. If it wasn't for UKW, there would be no PWE, okay? That's why I made you the first ever PWE champion. Because without you, I would not know how to create matches, book matches. Put on shows. I wouldn't know how to commentate. I mean, maybe I would because I watch wrestling, but still, you did it in a way that nobody else can do it. The way you commentate, the way you, the way you put on a show, the way you entertain people, the way you get views, it's amazing. And I just want you to know, bro, I love you. And I know you might have some hostility towards me. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. And maybe that will always be there. Maybe maybe I can never make that go away, no matter how many times I apologize to you. But I want you to know, bro. You and Valente are two of the greatest friends any person could ever have. I want you to know, bro, I'm sorry. For everything. I'm sorry for the way I... I treated you for the way I for the way for the way I, I treated your friends I'm sorry man I can't I can't just erase the past but what I can is I can promise you a better future for me I want to be able for all of us to get on discord I want to I, I want to be able for us all to talk about wrestling. I want to be able for all of us to just get along once again and just leave leave our past in the behind. Even though I have the worst past out of everyone in our friend group, I know y'all have some things that y'all regret. Maybe maybe things that you necessarily didn't do to me, but pe things you've done to people before. I want to be I want to be able to just get along. I want to be able to start fresh. I want to be able to just show you that I'm different. Valente, back to you, bro. Valente, dude, you're the you're the best, okay? And what would make you the best is if you accepted my apology. That's kind of like gaslighting a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but. <laughs> Valente, I care about you more more than more than anything. Honestly. Like bro, you've been there since day one, bro. I remember the first time we met on 2K16. I remember the park we met in, Old Town Flyers. I remember the game game mode we played, 1v1v1, game of 21. I remember everything, bro. And when I was dying in that hospital bed, all I could think about is you. Cause you were in that same situation. All I could think about was you, and I was, I was like, I, 
he doesn't he doesn't talk to me anymore. When I was delusional and I was depressed over my girlfriend, I did what I did to you. And I shouldn't have done it. Because I made that I made that fake I made that fake number to contact my girlfriend and then I thought it would be funny to contact you because something wasn't right in my brain. I know you deal with mental health problems and I have the worst mental health problem I've ever had in my life. Worse than anything. It made me stop eating. It made me stop drinking. It made me stop showering. It made me stop caring about myself. Like I, I was just waiting for the day to die and life be over. I'm sorry, bro. Real talk, I was checking my phone because I because I mentioned you on Twitter and I was hoping you text me back. But, but V, bro, V, there isn't a thing in the world that I would do for you. And if there's anything I can do to get back into your life, I will do it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if I gotta strip naked and run across the street and get arrested. I don't. I, I don't care. If I gotta humiliate myself, I I don't care. Cause that's how much I care about you, bro. Cass, bro. Cass, I love you, bro. I want you to know that. I love you deep down in my heart, bro. I don't know what else I gotta say. I'm trying to just make things right. Get back to where we were. I love you guys, bro. I'd do anything for you guys. But with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Dylan, Valente, Cass, Coda, I'm sorry. I love you guys. And I hope you guys can forgive me.